All right, so this book is a story called The Last Day of Kindergarten. And in this story, written by Nancy Lowen and Sochiko Yashikawa was the author, they talk about a special ceremony that some kindergartners have um, called a graduation. Now, we don't have a graduation for kindergarten in our school. We have a pre-K graduation. So you might remember that from last year if you came to pre-K at Oakfield. But this story talks all about remembering the fun things throughout the school year and then getting ready for their special celebration at the end of the year. The last day of kindergarten. Today is the last day of kindergarten. I wish it were the first. Then I'd meet Miss Papinski all over again. I'd hang up my very own backpack on my very own hook. My markers would be bright and inky, and my crayons would be pointy and new. If it were the first day of kindergarten, I'd have so much to look forward to this year. I'd play house or grocery store during our playtime. I could dress up as a tiger for the Halloween parade. I'd lose my first tooth biting into Sammy McGregor's birthday cupcakes. I know lots of you had fun birthdays at school, and lots of you lost teeth this year. But today's the last day of kindergarten. We don't read stories. We don't work on our numbers or letters instead. We have to wash our tables. We throw out the stubbiest crayons and our dried up paints, and we take all the pictures off the wall. And so we have to do. Our classroom has to get cleaned up. Mrs. Papinski gathers us to a circle for sharing time. It's the last time we'll ever sit crisscross applesauce together, I thought. I'm so proud of all of you, Mrs. Papinski says. You've learned so much this year, but kindergarten is ending and summer is beginning. What are some of your favorite things about summer, she asks. And some of their answers are staying up late, swimming, picnics in the park, running through the sprinkler and eating blue raspberry ice pops on the front steps. Those are fun things to look forward to. Let's talk about first grade, Miss Papinski says. What are you looking forward to the most? Eating lunch in the cafeteria, going on field trips, writing stories, making new friends, playing on the big kids' playground at recess, Wow, said Mrs. Papinski. You're going to be fantastic, first graders. I can just tell. She looks at the clock and stands up. Okay, class, it's time. So we put on our funny flat hats that we made out of poster board and yarn, and we made sure that our faces were clean. And then we line up and walk down the hall to the auditorium. I peek over Mason's shoulder and I see a crowd. People pointing cameras at the stage and little brothers and sisters squirming on laps. You might remember that from last year if you went to Mrs. George's class or um, Miss Heyrich's class, Mrs. D's class. Oh, I see Mommy and Daddy and Grandma and Grandpa and Auntie. And this afternoon they're going to take me out for ice cream and I can order whatever I want. It's a special day. Mr. Meyer starts playing a serious song on the piano. It makes me want to cry, and it makes me want to march. It makes me want to stand up tall and straight. This is it. I'm walking onto the stage. I'm reciting our ABC farewell poem without making any mistakes, and I sang zippity doo -dah and clapped and marched in all the right places. And then I shake hands with my teacher and principal. Kindergarten is over. Look at those happy kids. They worked hard just like you did. I did it. First grade, here I come. And there she is. So she's just like you guys ready for all of the challenges in the fun in first grade. So I hope you loved that story just as much as I liked reading it to you. The next books that I will be reading will be about that season of summer since that's going to be happening in a couple of weeks. I'm going to teach you a little bit about summer season in some of my other read-alouds. So make sure you check those out. Bye-bye.